Today, there are over 4,300 religions being practiced in the world. Each one claims to be the straight path, with Christianity and Islam being the two most quote-unquote popular world religions. However, which is the right path? And more importantly, what is the relationship which must exist amongst the followers of the various religions? Today, we review the topic of one God, but many paths? Religious Tensions in the World Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh And welcome back to Ramadan Reflections for 2021 Today being the fifth day of this blessed month of Ramadan you know, when you look at the world around us and you look at the news, it's inconceivable to understand how people who claim to follow a God, a benevolent, loving, merciful, compassionate God, on the one hand can pray to that God, offer devotional services to that God, feed the needy in the name of the love of that God, and with that same hand that they've given out food or charity or helped another human being out, they can turn around and pick up a gun, or a knife, or whatever other instrument, and kill another human being simply because they do not follow the same religion as they do. No, this is not a theory, this is a practical uh, reality happening on the ground in the world today. We see it around the globe, whether it be the conflict which has been raging on in occupied Palestine, whether you see what is happening in Myanmar, Burma, against the Rohingya Muslims, what you see happening in Kashmir, what you see happening around the world, even here in North America, where people of various religions are quarreling and bickering, and although it may not reach to the level of violence, unfortunately there is always this constant strain and pressure in relationships in some segments of the society. And the irony of the whole uh, challenge between the various world religions and the way that people have pitted themselves against one another of, of other religions is the fact, as the Quran talks about, that it all stems from knowledge. Not a lack of knowledge, actually, but having knowledge of the differences the Quran shows us many different times that people were one nation. Humanity was one collective body of human beings loving and working and worshipping with one another alongside one another. And then God tells us that he sent prophets, <clears throat> he sent messengers, he sent books, he sent revelation. And rather than the people accepting that new revelation, that new prophet, that updated set of teachings, some felt that they were to stay on the previous set of teachings and they did not want to follow the next prophet in line, the next set of teachings in line. And so God tells us many times in the, in the Noble Quran that people actually differed after knowledge came to them, not before. And unfortunately, as I have said, that many of these disagreements have become violent to the point where tens of thousands of people have been killed. And I don't even mean only amongst various religions, but even within the same religion. You know, you have conflicts raging between the Catholics and the Protestants in some parts of Europe, even till today. You have examples of so-called Muslims killing other Muslims, as you see and we, as we see happening in countries such as in Syria, in Iraq, what's happening in Yemen today, what's happening in Bahrain, in the occupied Hijaz, what is called Saudi Arabia. And so this is not only limited to one religion or one demographic or one school of thought. This is unfortunately across the whole collective of humanity that those who claim to be following the true religion 
are acting as if they're following something demonic. But as God tells us in the Quran, that although there are many paths that people have chosen, there is only one path to God, the straight path, but people have chosen and created many paths, but there is only one God. And the global religious tensions which exist in the world today, again, which stem from although having knowledge, but at the same time having a lack of tolerance and acceptance for others, God condemns that in the Quran and he shows us as Muslims that we have no right to be belligerent and, and violent against those who are not violent against us. Let me show you the beauty of the Quran in where Allah says in chapter 60, Surah, Surah Al-Mumtahana, verse number 8, where Allah says, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ لَا يَنْهَاكُمُ اللَّهُ عَنِ الَّذِينَ لَمْ يُقَاتِلُوكُمْ فِي الدِّينِ وَلَمْ يُخْرِجُوكُمْ مِنْ دِيَارِكُمْ أَنْ تَبَرُّوهُمْ وَتُقْسِتُوا إِلَيْهِمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُقْسِتِينَ God does not forbid you as regards those who do not make war against you on account of your religion, nor drive you away from your homes to be kindly to them and act towards them with equity. God surely loves the equitable. We see in this verse that God has shown us clearly as Muslims that when it comes to people of other religions, even though we may not accept their ideology, we may condemn their belief system. We may critique it even at a, at, a, at, a, at a purely academic, respectable level. But if they have not waged war against us, if they have not fought us against uh, because of our religion, they have not expelled us from our homes, removed us from our homeland, refused to give us the right of return to our own native birthplace, then God says, deal with those people who are respectful to you with justice, with respect, with equity. Because God loves those who act with equity. So although we have 4,000 some odd religions in this world today, and we all profess to follow the straight path, and only, only one can be the true straight path, we have to recognize and appreciate the fact that God still wants those people who follow religion or who follow no religion to be respectful of one another. As we conclude for this blessed day of the, of the month of Ramadan, the fifth day, let me leave you with some points of reflection. Number one, the goal in sending prophets and books was not to create competing or warring factions. Each community were to have a smooth transition from one set of teachings to the other. But unfortunately, due to personal motivations, people have tainted the relationship and have allowed their understanding of God to create disagreements to the point of being violently disagreeable with others. Point number two, acquiring knowledge is the first step in reduction and elimination of religious tensions, but it is not the final step. The Quran clearly shows that disagreements crept into society despite the people having knowledge. And point number three to conclude, although the Quran rejects the notion that polytheists and others will have salvation in the hereafter, however, people of faith are obligated to live with one another in peace and harmony. God willing, we will continue tomorrow in this blessed month of Ramadan with our Sixth day of Ramadan reflections for 2021. Until then, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.